I've already shuffled and we'll be taking a look at the recent past energy between you and the person you're dealing with. We'll take a look and see what's coming up. We'll find out what the challenge is going to be and then we'll see what the outcome is. So Leo, the recent past energy between you and your person. We got this temperance and it's with the Ten of Wands. Now temperance with this card, although all your relationships, they are likely to be going quite well. You may need to look at any deeper personal issues and see if they're standing in your way. And if there are, how to work through them and integrate them. Because the ideal now is to do what it takes to find balance in yourself, in your relationships, and with any goals and aspirations that you might have. Now it's with the Ten of Wands. The Ten of Wands, you could feel as though you're carrying a heavy burden. As you can see by looking at the picture, it's the card below the word pass. You see how this man, he's walking forward, but he's actually about to fall backwards. So, you may want to look hard at this and see if there are any ways that you could lighten your load, either literally, literally or figuratively. And I say this because if you look carefully, you could find that part of the burden that you're carrying emotionally, it actually belongs to someone else. So, it's going to be important. For you to pace yourself and try not to take on too much. So, Leo, the message that I'm getting here is that the recent past energy with temperance and ten of wands showing up here for you and your person. Yeah, there was relationship difficulty. The relationship got difficult. Um, there could have been some situation or something that was going on. And it could have made you feel like you were giving too much of your emotional energy to, to your person or to the connection. Yeah. And this made you feel like for some of you, like, life was being sucked out of you. Something got really difficult. Yeah, maybe too much to handle. So it looks like you realize that this connection needed to be brought back into balance with temperance here. So you realize that you needed a peace of mind. Because that had left you, it probably left the connection. Yeah. Maybe look at anything that you felt guilty about. Any mistakes that you feel you've made. And forgive yourself because that would have been really um, the best way to go forward. Yeah. You, know, you have to forgive yourself and let it go. Because it's the only way you can truly make progress. But something became very difficult. Something in the connection or just the relationship just felt really heavy. So, that's a recent past energy between you and your person. Let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what's coming up for the two of you. So, we got the Ten of Cups. Beautiful. Six of Wands. Beautiful. Yeah, yeah, this is good. So, Ten of Wands is a, is a cup, is a card, um, that's very, very uplifting. It's one of the most uplifting cards you can receive in a reading. It points to happiness, perhaps, in a more mature, grown up kind of way. Really good card to get in a reading. Everyone wants the Ten of Cups in a reading. It speaks of happy family life, even if you're single, and to the overall well-being that goes beyond you. 
yourself. To include those that you're most concerned about, your parents, siblings, children, your pets, and much more. You could also be spiritually fulfilled when you get the Ten of Cups in a reading. Good card to see regardless of any question. When you get the Ten of Cups and if you're worried about a relationship, it's a clear indicator that you really don't have anything to worry about because you and your person, you're on the same page. Yeah. Now, like I said, it's with the Six of Wands. Six of Wands signals victory. Yeah, if you look at the picture of the Six of Wands, you see this, it's a card below the word present. You see this lady, she's standing on a podium. She's waving her wand in the air. She has all of these people below her, and they're mimicking her. Yeah, they're waving their wand in the air just as she is. They're mirroring her, or they're mirroring each other. Yes, yeah, she's experiencing victory, success, recognition. When you get the Six of Wands, if you're anxious about a court proceeding, or you want to win your lover's heart, just know that you will be victorious. This can indicate some type of celebration. You could be a part of a graduation party or a commencement celebration. Or maybe you're receiving... A reward for good work that you've done. Six of Wands can make you feel really good about yourself. You may feel as if you have a lot of support from a lot of people around you. On the other hand, you could adore someone else by where adoring them makes you feel amazing. Yeah. Coming up is, is really good. Whatever difficulties you and your person experience, Ten of Cups clarified by Six of Wands. And you're going to have a lot of things to be happy, to be happy about, to be thankful for with this Ten of Cups and you and your person. Wow. You two will come back together and make magic. Yeah. If you're the type of person that likes attention, your person is going to give it to you. Yeah, if you're the type of person that needs your ego boost, they're going to just automatically, naturally give it to you. It's, this Six of Wands is like really, really good chemistry. Uh, it's a, Six of Wands suggests that when it talks about love and relationships, it suggests that um, you could be the type, perhaps, um, that needs someone to boost your ego while the other person is perfectly fine doing the boosting and admiring. This is called fire of balance. The two of you feed off of each other energetically. So with this type of energy, you get a lot of sexual energy. There's passion and long nights spent in bed. So there you have it. You two come back together in a much, at a much happier, happier place. Yeah, things turn around for the better. So this is good because the recent past energy between you and your person looks looked really heavy. Yeah, maybe your person was carrying some type of heavy load, and things have, things are turning around for the better. And the balance is coming back into the connection, into the relationship, and for the both of you. So this is great. Now let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what the challenge is. We got the two of wands and so the six of cups. Now this two of wands, with this one it's important for you to keep your balance. In every way you can, even to the mundane, boring things like eating right, getting enough rest. Two of Wands can, it can indicate a partnership with another person. This could be business, could be personal, or both. But it reminds us to stay mindful to the give and take required for successful relationships. So if things are difficult now, just know that they're about to get substantially better. 
and it's about keeping your eyes on the prize. Now it's with the Six of Cups. Six of Cups can be a card about nostalgia. Looking back on how things used to be, it can be, but not always connected with children, childhood. So it's important not to spend too much time and effort thinking about the good old days because we all have happy memories to reflect on from time to time. But if we start to think that the best of all the years have gone by, then that can actually become a self-fulfilling prophecy. So your challenge, Leo, Two of Wands, clarified by the Six of Cups. So yeah, it looks like what I'm getting is that your person, you come back, you two come back together really well and things are looking bright. Everything is going good. You two are making magic. A lot of chemistry in you. Looks like you two could be, if you guys are, feel like things are falling up. You two are falling out of love, you're falling back in love. It just feels great, but the challenge is showing that. With the two of wands here, your person could have two options towards the future. Because the two of wands can be about maybe two paths, not necessarily, well, two paths, two options could be the same um, towards the future. So, Two of Wands can be about trying to make a decision. Yeah, if you look at the picture of the Two of Wands, it's the card above the word challenge. This man, he has his hand tied to one wand, but his back is to it. And his, his everything else is towards the other wand. And his ankle is tied to it, and he's looking directly into the eyes of the other one. So, yeah, your person has to make a decision. Um, whatever he's trying to make a decision about, or she's trying to make a decision about, um, it could, there could be, it could be, for some of you, it's someone or something that your person has a strong, um, uh, well, I was going to say strong connection with, but they pretty much have, um, I would say a lot of memories with, because the Six of Wands is about um, happy memories, familiarity, yeah, they probably... They're connected to this person, um, someone that they're very familiar with, you know, someone that they probably made a lot of memories with, so they're trying to make a decision. I, I see them smiling at you and their body language is towards you, but they seem like they, their hand tied to something or someone that they're very familiar with, someone that they're comfortable with, someone that they've probably known for a long time. Yeah, with the Six of Cups showing here. It, yeah, a decision needs to be made. Two of Wands is saying that there's two paths towards the future. And it's about trying to make a decision. So, yeah, your person's hand is tied to, like I said, something or someone that they've got some memories with. Yeah, so, let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what the outcome is. So, we got the Nine of Wands and so the High Priestess. Okay, so this Nine of Wands, it, well... When you get this card, the first and the best step. First and the best step is often take a deep breath, calm down, don't let things that you're worried about overwhelm you. Take things one day at a time, one hour at a time, if you can do so. At least some of the worries 
They could turn out to be imaginary, so get specific on what you're afraid of and pick it apart. Ask yourself, what's the true likelihood of the worry actually happening? Now, with the high priestess. The high priestess, priestess can mean that you're in a phase where, you, where you're going to be much more physically attractive to others. This card is actually tied to the moon. It's tied to femininity, to inspiration. This is also a time to rely on your intuition and your inner knowledge rather than your conscious mind or intellect. So it's important that you pay attention to any dreams that you have. If you keep a dream diary or a journal, it's going to be a really, really good idea. Yeah, with the High Priestess, it can be a magical, mystical time for love, for relationships. Um, because if, if you're a woman, you could find people literally throwing themselves at you. Now, the problem is that you, you're going to attract all, all kinds, the good, the bad, the ugly. And it's not always easy to tell which is which. So, yeah, the outcome, Nine of Wands, clarified by the High Priestess. Yep, so, like I said, Leo, things coming up, they turn around for the better. And the two of you come together in a very, very wonderful way. Um, you guys have a lot of chemistry. And it's going to feel good. You're going to feel the chemistry. <laughs> That's for sure. But your person, they need to make a decision. There's somebody that they, they got their hands tied to. If it's not a person, it could be a situation that they just need to let go of. Or just make a decision. And you realize this, and you, you know all about it, so... The outcome is showing that um, even though they're strong, you and your person, are, you're feeling really strong attraction towards each other coming up. A lot of str very good chemistry and strong attraction with this high priestess. Even though you're feeling all these wonderful feelings about your person and they're feeling it about you, you might have some, some moments where you're feeling like you want to close yourself off. Yeah, because the Nine of Wands can be about not letting anyone pass your barricade. Yeah, so you could feel like closing yourself off. Or you could start to feel like this is what you need to do. Yeah, you, need to back, you could start to feel like you need to back off of this connection with your person. It's a thought, it's a feeling. I don't know if that's what you're going to do, though. Yeah. Yeah, so, I mean, it's looking good. Balance is brought back into the connection. But there's this one thing hanging over your head. You know your person needs to make a decision. And I'm getting that they haven't done it yet. So you could have some... Like I said, just start to feel like you just want to sh back off of this this connection. You could maybe you're starting to feel like you could get hurt or something. Yeah. So that's your reading, Leo. I hope you enjoyed the reading. I hope it resonates. As you know, general readings they do not always resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like the reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way, you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I'll also put a link below of the extended of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation, what's in the near future for the two of you, how you see yourself, best case scenario, and what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks. There's also a link below for personal readings if you'd like to try one of those. So Leo, thank you so much for watching. I hope all of you are doing well and staying safe during this crazy virus season. Hang in there, it's going to pass. We'll all get through this. Stay strong. Come back and join me.
for the next Leo reading, just in case this did not resonate, maybe the next reading will. Also keep in mind, um, when you get the readings, the roles of the people, they can be switched, yes, they can be reversed. Meaning you could be your person or your person could be you. And if you're not dealing with anyone romantically, the other person could actually be a friend, family member, a co-worker, or a situation. So just take the readings for however it resonates, because, like I said, these are general readings. They're not personal readings. So, Leo, I can never say it enough. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that all of you are having a wonderful New Year's. I'm wishing all of you the best of 2021. I hope to see you at the next reading. I hope you have a great day and take care.